Hello, today I'm here with a new video and for you who doesn't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a cruelty free YouTuber that do a lot of makeup videos. Like only makeup videos. And today we are going to talk about my shame pile. If you're wondering what that is, I'm going to show you. So I am currently in a no buy that is going to end the last March, last March, the last day in March, I think. I don't know, but the plan is that I'm going to keep my no buy until the end of March. And I haven't bought a palette since Black Friday, I think. I don't think I bought any in December. And I bought some on Black Friday, if we say it like that. I can leave my playlist up here. No, my playlist, my haul up here that I did from Black Friday. And I still have some palettes here at home that I haven't used. So it's like my little pile of shame. And I wanted to share that with you. And I can, if I would have done this like a month ago, it would have been so many more palettes. Like it has been, it would have been so, so, so much bigger. But I'm going to talk about six palettes that I haven't used and that I have had for over half a year. And then I'm going to start off with two palettes that I hate that I haven't used more, but like a part of me doesn't want to use them. So I think we just get started with those two palettes. So the first one is from Menagerie and this is the Killer Pearl. If I'm going to be honest, if this wouldn't have been Menagerie that has done this palette, I wouldn't have bought it. This is their neutral palette that is inspired by lions and like the seven. Seven life seven. I'm Swedish. And I've used this one. I did a first impression. I haven't touched it. I think I might have used one shade when I did a duping video. Other than that, I haven't used this like at all. And it's still on my makeup table, but I never use it. And I don't want to decluttering it because I like Menagerie, but it's something, I don't know what to do with it. Even though I have seen others do really cool looks with this palette, it's nothing like make me, oh yeah, I want to use the Killer Purr. I don't know if it is because I hate the name, like Killer Purr, I, I can't stand the name of this palette, but... I don't know. I'm a little bit ashamed that I haven't used this more. Like I haven't used maybe four or five colors out of this, not more. And I don't know what I want to do with it. I have no idea. I'm thinking about doing a Menardi week and use all of my Menardi palettes in one video each, but... This palette like holds me back for doing that, but... I need, I need to use it. Another palette is from Yves Place. This is the Warrior Free palette. I did a first impression on this one and it's something about this. It looks like this. I thought of this like, this should be a Sulu 2 palette, not a Warrior Free palette. I wasn't that impressed in my first impression. I don't know what it is about this palette, but I usually love Yves Place palettes. I love the Nomad and this I think they came out like the same time. I have only used it in my first impression. I haven't been excited to use this after that. I don't know. I like the colors, but I don't know if it is because it's just only these two that are shimmers. But this doesn't inspire me, which feels a little bit strange with such a colorful palette, but I'm ashamed that I haven't used this more, but I don't know what to do with it. So these two palettes, I have used them once, have them for kind of a long time, but 
don't like drag me in and I don't want to use them. So, okay, let's go into the six palettes I haven't used. We can start with two palettes from Yves Place. When they came out with their first mini palettes, I bought the chocolate, the nudes, and the violets, and the berries. I used the chocolate and the nudes, but not these two. These might look more like the palettes I would use first, but I haven't. And this one really likes speaks to me, but I haven't used it. And maybe I should, maybe I should just take these up and use them because these are still available, I think, and I keep continuing doing these six pan. And I know that people loved, especially these two, and thought they were really, really good. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't have a good answer why I haven't used them. And I bought this in the summer, I think. Do you want to see videos with this, these two still? Let me know if you want to see videos with any of these because if you don't want to see them, I might not do anything with them. I don't know. Then we have this palette from Linda Holberg. This I actually used once for blush. And this is the Infinity Glam. It's their latest Infinity palette. It looks like this. And yes, I mostly bought this because I have the other Infinity palettes. And I have... No, I actually don't have all the palettes from Linda Holberg. But I love the Infinity and the Infinity Deep. So I was like, okay, I am going to love Infinity Glam as well. But when I got this home and opened it, I'm like, this is more like a face palette for me. I don't think I want to use any of these on my eyes, but maybe this one looks really good. But like the others, it's nothing like I do in a makeup look. So I think this is more like a face palette for me, but I, I think I used this one as a blush once. I haven't touched the other shades. Maybe I should put it like right here in front of me and try to use this for like a week of videos. I will see. But yeah, I will put it here and hopefully I will use it more because I think like the Infinity palette is amazing as a face palette. So hopefully that is good as well. And the last three palettes is like in a set. I bought this from Colourpop, the tie-dye thing. This is the cloud, cloud dye. And I bought the little set with all of the three palettes. And I've heard so many mixed reviews. Maybe you want to see them. I've heard so many mixed reviews on these and it felt like I bought them too late to still make a video on this. I don't think these are available anymore. And that has put me off a little bit for using them because I don't. How fun is it to show palettes that are not available? But I know some of you might have them. But so the palettes. This is one of them. This is like a peachy. Pe peachy pastel palette. I think it is pressed glitter in this one. I got this package. I think it was the summer and this would have been perfect as a summer palette. But apparently my summer me didn't think so. It is also in a trance. This is the purple palette. Purple and pink. Also like a cute pastel palette. Now when I look at these, I actually wonder why did I buy it? Because I usually don't do this lights look, light lights look, light looks. I don't know. And the last one is Aurora and Out, and this I think is the most. I don't know why I haven't used it. It looks like this. Not been touched. Not at all. Now I just feel like. Does anybody even care about these palettes anymore? 
because they got so mixed reviews. Some people just hated them and said it was bad pigment and it wasn't like showing on fair skin either. So I don't know. But yeah, that was my little pile of shame. If you want to see anything with these palettes, let me know. Should I just work through them and have it done or should I... I don't know. Because one part of me doesn't want to declare on them either because I bought them because I wanted to try them. So this was a very short video. I really hoped you liked it and it feels good to have talked about my shame palettes with you. And do you have any of these palettes, especially these that I haven't used? And do you think they are good? And do I missing out with just having them but not using them? I think I would want you to let me know. <laughs> but yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!